Hello, my name is Chris Larson, Tillage Product Specialist with Case IH. Case IH has a rich tradition of innovative and productive tandem discs. The True Tandem 375 Disc Harrow continues and builds on that tradition being launched in 2015. This video is intended to help you, the operator, understand the six key steps to setting and adjusting your new True Tandem 375 disc arrow in order to capitalize it on its ruggedness, productiveness, and its agronomic design. Let's look at what those six steps are. The six steps to adjusting the True Tandem 375 disc arrow are one, pre-field checks. Second, fore aft leveling. Third, adjusting the mainframe to wing levelness. Fourth, adjusting the depth. Fifth, adjusting the harrow or the tiger paw crumbler. And sixth, final checks and readjustments to ensure that the output is what the operator desires. Before we start with the primary field adjustments, we must go through some initial checks to make sure that the tool is properly attached to the tractor. First, assure that the drawbar pin and lock pin is installed. Remove the jack and place it in its storage position. Also, lift and store the rear jack if the tool is equipped with a rear hitch. Assure that the safety chain is installed per the operator's manual instructions for that particular tractor as well. And make sure that the hydraulic hoses and the 7-pin lighting connector are connected and all are functioning properly. After hooking up the hydraulics and lighting, use the convenient hose boom stand to support the hoses and prevent interference with the hitch pivot point. Finally, check all tire pressures per the operator's manual settings and ensure all grease points have been lubricated. The second step is making adjustments to the 4F leveling. Before making any field adjustments, and if the 375 disc harrow is equipped with a tiger paw crumbler, place that remote valve used to operate the crumbler in float. This will assure that the crumbler does not affect initial settings of the disc harrow. Also assure that the gauge wheels, if they are installed, are slightly lifted off the ground so they don't affect the adjustments to the wings. To check the fore aft levelness, first ensure that the tool can be operated on even and level of ground and the depth has been roughly adjusted so the blades engage the ground and all remote valves are locked out so no unwanted adjustments can be made. Make a short pass in the field at normal operating speed between 4 and 6 miles an hour and then stop with the blades in the ground. Dig behind the front and rear blades on the center section of the tool and measure the depth of the blade furrow at each location. Ensure that the depths match. If the depths do not match, make adjustments to the 4 aft levelness using the hydraulic 4 aft cylinder or mechanical adjustment depending on how the tool is equipped. Note the gauge position if the tool is equipped with a hydraulic leveling option so that adjustment can be returned to if accidentally adjusted or adjusted for transport. The third step is adjusting the main frame to wing levelness. To perform this step, locate the 1 and 7 8 inch wrench found on the front hitch. If no wrench is available, any 1 and 7 8 inch wrench can be used. To understand the current settings, make another short pass at operating speed after the fore aft levelness has been adjusted. Dig behind the front and rear wing gangs as well as the main frame gangs on both sides and check that the depths all at all locations. Make adjustments to the wing wheel cylinder eye bolt links with the wrench so that the wing depths match the main frame depths. The fourth step is adjusting the disc operating depth. To adjust, Turn the single point depth crank to the desired depth and make another pass after each adjustment is made to assure the proper depth is achieved. Use the convenient indicator on the single point depth control that shows that four turns will make one inch of depth adjustment. Two turns will make one half inch depth adjustment depending on which direction the crank is turned. The recommended operating depth of the True Tandem 375 disc arrow is between four and six inches deep. Once the blade depth is set, adjust the wing gauge wheels, if they are installed, with the crank so that the wheels have firm contact with the soil. The wheel should be able to be moved if nudged slightly and reinstall the pin after adjusting. The fifth step is adjusting the rear harrow for the final field finish. If the tool is equipped with a tiger paw crumbler, place the remote valve that operates the crumble in the extended detent position. This will place pressure on the mounted crumbler. This is very important. Downforce pressure is easily adjusted at the valve block mounted at the front of the tool. 
there are two pressure gauges and two adjustment valves. The left adjusts the mainframe pressure. The right adjusts the wing pressure. Initial settings will be approximately 350 PSI on the gauges and is a good starting point, but the operator should consult the operator's manual for any additional settings. Also, the operator should be looking for, at the output of the tool to understand if further adjustments are required. Note that the pressures on the gauge may not match due to the differing lengths of the crumbler segments on the wings versus the mainframe. A convenient feature of the patented Tiger Paw Crumbler is being able to float or lift the crumbler depending on the ground conditions. In moist conditions, it can be placed in float to continue conditioning clods in most conditions, yet reduce the chance of plugging. The crumbler can also be lifted in muddy areas of the field to prevent plugging. If equipped with a three bar coil tine harrow, the down pressure, levelness, and aggressiveness of the harrow can be adjusted to match the residue levels and reach the desired smooth output. There are three positions for aggressiveness. Position the harrow vertically for light residue, the middle position for moderate residue, and nearly flat for heavy residue. Adjust the levelness so that the harrow coil tines are all operating at the same depth. Spring down pressure adjusts the amount of pressure on each of the tines. The length of the spring is set to 7 inches long as default. Pressure should be adjusted if the desired levelness is not being achieved. The sixth and final step are the final checks to assure that all the settings that have been made are providing the desired output. Operate the tool at normal speeds as well as operating conditions. Note that if your 375 disc harrow is equipped with shallow concavity blades on the front and standard concavity blades on the rear, operating speeds may need to be higher to achieve a desired output, typically between 5 and 7 miles per hour. If your 375 is equipped with standard concavity blades on the front and standard concavity blades on the rear, operating speeds are typically between 4 and 6 miles per hour. Check the 4F leveling. Check the wing levelness, verify the depth, and finally verify the overall field finish and make adjustments to the rear harrow if needed. After all steps are taken, the operator should see a good combination of soil and residue mixing, a relatively level seedbed floor, and level soil surface. The true tandem gangs on an 18 degree angle are ideally matched to the crimp center blade concavity so soil is exploded off the front side of the 24 inch blade to provide maximum soil and residue cutting with mixing with minimal backside blade pressure and soil smearing. The patented Tiger Paw Crumbler will provide ideal seedbed clod sizing and soil particle positioning for maximum seed to soil contact in the spring. The end result will be a high quality seedbed to complement the planter row unit, seed placement, seedling emergence and overall higher yield potential. Those were the six key steps at adjusting and setting your True Tandem 375 disc harrow to maximize its productivity and capitalize upon its agronomic design features. Again, my name is Chris Larson, Tillage Product Specialist with Case IH. Thank you for your time today.